All right, you second gen folks. Wasn't really planning on making a video on this, but my truck for a while now, it's had some issues with I hit the brakes and it'll pull every which direction. And also it has not been riding the same. So we got the fix. <laughs> Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you have a second gen Dodge, this is a 1997 if you're wondering. They're basically all the same. But anyways, what's happening is I just replaced on the driver's side this hose that goes to your brake calipers. And what happens is when you steer, this thing will bind up like that and they end up collapsing. So when you hit your brakes, it allows fluid to come in, but it doesn't allow it to come back out. So your caliper will end up sticking. So I ended up replacing the hose on the driver's side and the caliper and it fixed it from pulling to that side. All right, so this is the one fit is fixed here. You can just spin it. And you wanna check this right after you get done driving the truck because after time that caliper will release itself. Try and spin this one, look how stiff that is. So the caliper is sticking very hard. So since we're already gonna be in here, we're gonna replace the caliper and the hose. And hopefully, if you are gonna do this, beware this line where it goes into your brake lines. It is a pain to get off and you might have to go ahead and do brake lines from your master cylinder down, which we had to do for the driver's side here. But hopefully we get lucky this time and get away with not doing that. The reason it's like having a rough ride, I think, so bumping up and down is the steering stabilizer. They're notorious for going bad on these things. I've already removed it, but it's very simple. What it's gonna be is this part here. And all it does is has a bolt and a nut that'll be attached right here. It's going to be an 18 millimeter and a 15 millimeter. On this side of the steering stabilizer, what it's gonna have is a little carter key right here. Pull that carter key out. Then I'll have an 18 millimeter nut, remove that. And it should slide out. This is the original one for the truck. So we're going to squirt it down here and have to hammer it out. Since this caliper has been sticking a while, the pads are pretty worn out. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the pads in the rotors. You could just turn these rotors, but when you do that, you're going to be taking material off of these and they're prone to warping because you have not near the surface of metal there that you once did. So once I started bumping down, riding rough, I used to just have one crack in my dash, which is pretty good for a second gen if you know anything about them. As you can see now, I got two. Very mad about that. I don't know if any of you guys have bought those covers that clipped on, but if you have an opinion on them, leave it down in the comments below. I'd like to know how they look. Might end up doing that. Might end up getting a whole new dash piece there. Haven't decided. So I'm gonna pinch the brake line here so we don't lose all the fluid removing the caliper. It'll be a 3 8 down on the top side here. And then I think we got a 7 16 to remove the hose. Uh, that got the 7 16 bolt out. That takes the hose off there. And then you'll have the same Allen bolt on the bottom of the caliper to completely remove it. Well, it's still got some pressure on it. I think I would just caliper, but we're doing it all for our truck. I'm going to try to do it all. Yeah, they should not come off that already. Check out this rotor. This thing is just trash. That's why we're going ahead and just replace it while we're in here. Now, if you're doing this, there is a core charge on your caliper. So you want to take that back. You'll get some money. Be prepared. If this thing's factory, this thing took 30 minutes to pop loose. Soaked it down several times. Finally got it to go. All right, I got the new steering stabilizer here. I said that they'd rebound if it's bad, but it'll actually be super loose when you pull out that right here pulling the rod out of there, whatever you want to call that. Compared to that one, it's nice and easy and you can do it no problem. So for these things, they do make two different sizes and they're only a half inch difference. So if you go to your local auto store, make sure they give you the right one. As you can see, these match up. The newer one's a little beefier looking. Hope that's good, but we'll see. And then you got to get this one up here. I'm gonna lose some big fluid there. Yeah, 
Now for your new hose, just replace it exactly how you took the old one off. Pads will just pop into place fairly easy. Struggling here. Boom, just like so. This one will slide in versus push in. Pops into place. Find the bolt out that you loosened up that have the Allen head on them. Putting the hose on the caliper here. The metal side there, as you can see, should be facing up, not down. Calipers and everything is on. Now we got to bleed the brakes. What we do is that there's this little guy here. What I'm going to do is tighten this all the way. Dad's going to be pumping the brake. Once the brake gets stiff, I'm then going to loosen this. And he's going to let me know when the brake hits the floor. Once that happens, I'll tighten it back up. And we'll keep doing that until there's no air in the brake lining. Once there's no air, there will be no more bubbles coming out with the brake fluid and then we'll be good. Oh shoot. Oh. All right, pro tip, loosen that slowly. All right. Doesn't seem like bubbles. Okay. Yeah, there's no bubbles. That work might be good. Okay. All right. No bubbles. We didn't really have to bleed them that much. There wasn't really bubbles coming out, but if you do have bubbles, just keep doing that until you don't. Now we're gonna squirt everything down, brake clean, because you don't want the brake fluid sitting on all this metal and plastic. We're gonna put the steering stabilizer on here. Put that side in first. There we go. Look at you guys. And you take that little guy in your car key. And of course you just put them on. Make sure that it goes on crooked. That tool swine. Now your truck's gonna ride and stop very nice. All right, everything's put back together. Let's see if we made this video for a reason or we just did all that for nothing. All right, truck's fixed if you got the same issue do what we did hope you guys enjoyed subscribe like all that good stuff might have more second gen videos but right now we're building a 69 crew cab dodge that's going on a first gen cummins frame if you're interested in that <laughs>